How's it going guys? This is Double Wide 6 and today I have a Hoover Steam Vac Dual V Spin Scrub Heated Cleaning Model F7431-900 Problem is the brushes down at the bottom aren't spinning. Alright so I tip back the vacuum. First thing I do is get these brushes off. You can just give them a bit of a pull and they should pop out. Check the brushes, make sure they're spinning. All the gearing here is good, and this rod up top is spinning well as too, too so that's good. The brushes aren't the problem. In here is the turbine, all right? You see that square hole? That's what turns to turn the brushes. So for some reason, that thing's not getting air, it's not greased or lubed. With the machine on, the brushes are not turning. Alright, before I take everything apart, I know the problem's in here. Um, what I'm going to do is just spray a little WD-40 kind of on the outside of that white ring. Let that work in a little bit. And then what I'm going to do, if you have something square, you could put it in here. What I'm using is an actual uh, real small cold chisel, which looks like a regular flathead screwdriver. And I'm just going to put it in there on an angle. And what I'm going to do is turn this thing. And uh, I'm actually going to hook it up to my drill. And what we're trying to do is free up anything in there that, you know, is rusted, such as a bearing. So I'm just going to turn this thing a little bit and try and work in some of that oil. You don't want to go too fast and you don't want to strip it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pull one, two, three, four, five, six screws from the bottom of the unit. So you just need a Phillips head screwdriver to get them. I pulled the bottom screws out. I didn't pull anything off the bottom. Now I'm just going to take the top and yank it up on that part and this will pull off. There's one screw up top here, right in here, that needs to be removed. Another Phillips head. So I think I have all the screws out. So we're going to turn these clips in to get them out of the way. And we're going to carefully pop up this plastic housing. And there's a little thing here we got to look at. Little plastic shifter knob here. What you want to do is pull up on the plastic like this. And then push the shifter knob over until it releases and you can pull it right out. So at this point everything should be loose and you can just kind of pull up on these plastic parts and remove them. So with the covers removed, this black thing here is our air turbine. We're going to pull out these two Phillips head screws and you want to make sure when you put this back together that this metal is locked in here and your springs connected. Um, so to remove the hoses, there's two hoses, you can just pull back on these and then it's two Phillips head screws. I'll pull those, this unit should come right out. So the screws are loose, I'm just going to pull this out, the whole thing comes out just like that. On the bottom side, there's two more Phillips head screws, so we're just going to pull these two. And this will get us into our gearing where we can investigate. And you can already see that there's some rust in there from the water in, that you use with these things. So when you get the uh, ear, gear box opened up, you want to inspect the gears. All right. Obviously, if the teeth are worn, that would be a problem. Um, all my teeth look good. You can see that there's some grease on here. You want to clean out any... Uh, hair or anything like that that's stuck in there and looks like the main thing that's going to go wrong is going to be that there's a bearing up top you can see that freed up nice it probably freed up not from me so much spraying the wd-40 in there but from me turning it for about a minute with my drill and there's also another bearing down below so what you want to do is now that you have that apart you want to oil this thing up just like that and uh, you can turn it for about a minute or two like this work it in here and basically that should free up your problem make sure everything's mating nice before you put it back together
So we'll carefully line things up and try and get it back together here. One other thing to look at is there's like a, a spring-loaded butterfly gate here. You want to make sure that this mechanism is moving nice and easy. So what I'm going to do is lube up the bottom and the top of that butterfly gate as well as the mechanism up top. So now we're going to put our gearbox back in. So we're just lining up our front holes. There we go. As long as those front holes lined up and our metal's in the right place, looks good. Don't forget your two hoses. One there. One there. Before you attach all the plastic, make sure your butterfly valve is moving properly. Okay, it should just be free. It won't snap back unless there's air pressure and the unit's not on so we don't have vacuum pressure. But make sure it moves. Now we're going to put on our plastic. This, these holes here, you need to make sure that the little plastic stub fits in there. And then you're going to just push it straight down. Just line it up. Take your time and make sure that lever pops through. Insert our shift knob, just like that. So as far as the screws go, the four that are the same go up top here. They're all about an inch long. The two longest screws, they're about an inch and a half. They go right by the white plastic. And the two screws that are about an inch and a quarter long go down here. We're going to put on our front plastic. You put the front pieces in first and then push them up on the back. And don't forget there's one screw that goes behind here. Here's the screw. I don't think I showed it, but right up here. So I'm just going to tilt this back, just like this, and I'm going to put a, anything in here, just so it doesn't lock. Alright, that should allow the brushes to turn if they're going to turn. So the last thing you want to do, you want to make sure that your brushes are clean, it's a good time to clean them now. And here's a square, and you'll notice it's off center, a little bit to the left. So we'll set this up a little bit to the left, line that up. You might have to twist it a little to get it to line up with that square, and it should just push in. So it seems to be working as it should. Um, this is the type of thing that you use your steam vac, it works fine, you put it away, a month later you pull it out, it doesn't work. And the reason is uh, the moisture and water in there rusts up those bearings and then that gearbox won't work. So you can just loosen it up a little bit and then you should be good to go. I'm Double Wide 6, hopefully you enjoyed this video, you can check out my channel, I've got a bunch of other repair videos. Thanks for watching, any comments? I'd appreciate. Take care.